Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing King's Quest V. In the last episode, we made it into Mord... Well, we're in Mordak's castle. We're waiting for the son of a bitch to go to sleep. And this will hopefully be the finale. <laughs> Unless something I did, I didn't do it right or something. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I did everything correctly. I'm not exactly sure why nothing's working. Graham is already right. Hmm. Graham can see in. Yeah, now I'm just waiting. If I just walk back and forth, I'll give it a couple of seconds, like 30 seconds here, but come on, man. Don't be a fucking piece of shit. I mean, you are a piece of shit, evil wizard guy, but I didn't think you'd be like this shitty. You're real shitty, man. You're like the shittiest fucking wizard I know. Go to sleep. Come on, man. Why do I gotta deal with this? What the hell? Lay on the bed. The thought of lying on that horrible bed totally revolts Graham. Oh, it's not. It isn't that bad. Well, maybe it is. I don't fucking know. Anyway, so I need him to go to sleep so I can steal his goddamn wand. Why won't he go to sleep? Why won't he come in and go take a nap, that fucker? If anything, I might have to revert back to an old state and just keep going. Hmm. I don't really get. I really don't get it. Has anyone ever had this problem before? Many books. Of King Graham, heavy of heart, searches far and wide for his beloved family, who've been stolen by the evil wizard Mordak. Right. I mean, I feel like something... I'm not sure what went wrong. I pretty much did everything. Should play the piano. Graham watches in horrified fascination as the grotesque organ begins to magically play an eerie tune, all by itself. Maybe that'll get Mordak going. I don't know. Where the frig is he? See, I wonder if there was something that was... Oh, there you are. Goodbye. <coughs> if only you would appear earlier, you piece of shit. Alright, can I just die in peace? Thanks for, Poor doing... Thanks for doing, like, the Jedi chokehold. if that would that would help if I just freaking did that really quick and then ran up here although we'll see I guess actually let's go up and down the stairs and then let's 
Supposedly the old off the screen off, out, of, out of the screen trick supposed to work, but maybe it needs to work going downstairs. I don't know. This shouldn't take this long, guys. It really shouldn't. spend too long reading the book. Look through the doorway to Mordak's bedroom. If he isn't sleeping in the bed, wait. Shortly you will see him enter his bedroom and go to sleep. You will not see Graham if Graham is in the library. Save the game. What is Mordak doing doing anyways? Like, is today just like a typical... Like Sunday for him or something, or where he's just chilling at his house and he's like, yeah, just chilling. Meow. It wouldn't be. Yeah, I don't know how to. I don't know how to get this guy to come in, man. Let's try this again. Graham. Actually, let's go in here, then upstairs. I gotta get this. Good. Mm, man. <coughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I gotta somehow get this asshole to fucking. to fucking. you know. Poor Graham. Mordak. Sh Mordak showed no mercy. Gonna stand here. All the fucking eyes looking at me. I don't care. This episode may never air, by the way. I swear to God. I don't understand why this isn't working. A very I really don't care that much. I just want him to go to sleep. You know what? I may have to look this up because this is fucked up. This episode probably never gonna air. Unless something drastically happens within the next like 30 seconds. Because I'm not waiting forever. Oh, there we go. Shit, man. Mordak's asleep. Let's take this goddamn wand of his. And let's run. Now, we only have a certain amount of time in order to do this, but I know exactly what I gotta do. And I do apologize for the, the long wait. I don't understand what the hell was going on. I really don't.
All right, so what I want to do is save my game. G H. So what I want to do is take Mordax one that's all magical, put it over here. Then I want to come over here and put Crispin's wand over here. Because those spells that we learned are actually going to be very useful. And then what I want to do is, since there's foul odor, you want to put the stinky cheese. And this should make everything Graham work. Graham tosses the moldy cheese into the machine's bubbling liquid. Now stuff should happen. Transfer magic from this one into this one. Yeah, this is pretty cool, even though we have no idea what it really does. I don't know how you would know it was a magic transfer machine. So, once, once this is all done, let's grab Crispin's wand. Mordax wand now barely glows. Perhaps its power has weakened while Crispin's old wand now appears completely energized. Yeah. The bizarre machine looks very... No, take Crispin's wand. Alright, now starts the final battle. Between Mordak and Gran. What's going on here? I'll take care of you, you swine. Now, is, is that Mordak's hair, or is that like a hat he's wearing? Graham, I've heard from Crispin! Oh, really? Oh, no! Cedric! You bastard! What the? What have you done to my wand? You think you can outwit me, little man? You got... Ha! Let me show you a thing or two. You got brown teeth, man. Alright, so what we need to do is use the wand on ourselves. And now we get to choose between four forms. Pick the tiger. Tiger versus... Creature. Why, you little... So now it goes down there. Graham's a badass. Uh oh. So he's gonna shoot fire at us. But now we're gonna turn into. That oh, wasn't no. a very smart move, Graham. Oh no. God damn it. Oh shit. Gotta do this shit again. Sorry about this, guys. I am very sorry. But yeah, I thought I clicked on the rabbit there. I thought that was the rabbit. Maybe that's a mongoose. Anyways, these are just forms you need to use to deal with Graham more deck. Shut up. You just need this shit to deal do battle with more deck. So yeah, so in the beginning he uses some flying creature, then we're going to use the thing. Yeah, and these are pretty much magic, transformation magic without words. You just got to think. Think tiger. And then you become Tony the tiger. So yeah, I wonder if Mordak's wearing like a helmet thing there or what. Mordak's wand now... Alright, so now I'm going to save my game once again so that I could do this properly alright what's going on here I'll take care of you you swine you swine give me my wand with force power Graham, I've heard from Crispin. Oh, you have. 
Cedric, no! What the? What have you done to my wand? Billy. You think you can outwit me, little man? Apparently he ha! can't magic. Let me show you a thing or two. Apparently he can't magic his teeth, you know, his teeth white, huh? Mordak, get on that. All right, let's turn into a tiger. Why, you little shithead. So now Mordak. Ram's gotten on the run, and Mordak's like, oh, you think you're shit now? Now I'm gonna turn into a bunny. And now he's gonna try and shoot fire. Too bad, bitch. Too fast for you. You think you're so smart, don't you? Well, I've got you now. No, do you? All right, Dragon Lord. All right, can I say goodbye, swine? Can I? All right, you want to? Let's do mongoose. Mongoose versus cobra. Mongoose wins all the time. So the way you want to play. Uh-oh, I turned into a burning ring of fire, but that's gonna be his downfall because rain beats fire. And Mordak is no Mordak. Get it? Get what I did there? Congratulations, we've beaten King's Quest V. Now let's sit back and watch the final end scene. And thank you for this warning. One. This cartoon yes, contains I'm material. I'm going to watch it. Why wouldn't I watch it? Now why won't you work? And look, here's Cosima. And all that good oh, stuff. Oh, Princess Cosima. Well, I did it. Mordak is dead. You're free. Dead? Are you sure? Maybe he's only trying to trick you. He's dead, all right. He turned himself into a fire, and I put him out with rainwater. He'll never bother anyone else ever again. But now I have a bigger problem. I don't know what to do about my family or my castle. I don't know how to turn them back to normal. After all you've been through, there must be a way. Yeah, there must be. Well, look who it is. Crispin! I have the solution to all your problems, Thanks Graham. Thanks for coming in when I did everything already. While you and Cedric were gone, I did some asking around, and I found out that your son, Alexander, had the dubious distinction, if you may, of turning Mordak's brother, Mananan, into a cat some time back. Yes, I Obviously, know this deed angered Mordak, who could do nothing about it, since this particular spell could only be undone by the actual perpetrator, your son. Yes, I know it that. It doesn't take a great genius to figure out that Mordak took your family and castle in revenge to try to persuade Alexander to restore Mananan back to his old self. Okay, I know that. I did discover, as now I see, that your castle and family were miniaturized and imprisoned inside a glass bottle. I know that I too. I did some research and found the spell for turning everything back to normal. Uh -huh. Now watch. All right, that's something I didn't know. Thanks for pretty much reiterating everything I knew. Focus. Focus. Aliotis. And look, it's Alexander. And Rosella. And my beautiful wife, Alanise. Yay. Melody, my children. My joy knows no limit. Oh, Father, I'm so glad you're here.
Hugs all around, how nice. What, what a nice family reunion. Oh, Princess Cosima, how could I forget you? Come over here. Mm. Let me introduce you to my family. This is my wife, Queen Valenice, my daughter, Princess Rosella, and my son, Prince Alexander, who started this whole mess. Yeah, thanks a All lot. Of you, this is Princess no, that's all right. from the land of the Green Isles. Without her, none of us would be standing here now. She bravely saved my life. My lady, I am deeply in your debt, and I will make it up to you. With your permission, I'd like to travel to the land of the Green Isles to see you. Hmm. Look at that. You're, uh, you're schmitten already, huh? All right, now that we've done with all the formalities, let's get on with business, shall we? But what about, uh, Cedric? Higgledy! Higgledy! Poo! Oh, look at that, he fixed the castle. Be assured that your castle is right back where it belongs. And the right size, too. But now it's time that everyone return to their homes. With my help, of course. Alakazam, Alakazu, Alaka. Wait, what about Cedric? Yeah. The poor birdie. Where is Cedric? Over there. Mordak may have killed him. Is there anything you can do about it? Well, I can't bring him back from the dead. Hmm. Let me think. Ah, yes. I think I know. Abra? Abracabara? No, uh... Abracadora? Hmm. Now, what know? is that confounded word? Oh, yes! Abra... Cadabra! Hmm. Oh, Christian! Cedric, it sure is good to see you oh. again. Oh, likewise, I'm sure. Reunited once All again. All right, enough is enough. Let's get on with it. Okay, Cosima, let's send you home first. Wasn't that the land of the Green Isles? Yes, that's right. I can't wait to see my parents again. Goodbye, Alexander. Perhaps we'll meet again. Yeah, maybe we will. You can be sure of that, lady. In the quest for more money. King's Quest 6. Before you send us all home, Crispin, I just want to thank you for all your help. And you too, Cedric. I wouldn't be standing here with my family without you two. Yeah, you took a bullet I'm for deeply, me. I'm deeply, deeply grateful. All in a day's work, my boy. All in a day's work. Right, Cedric? Right, Crispin. Okay, back home you go. Alakazam. Alakazoo. Alakazee. There we go. Nice. We saved the day and Crispin saved the day and let the castle back. Yay. Home. Well, there she is. Our happy home. And we're all safe and sound once more. Let's go home, shall we? Yes, let's. All right, so that's pretty much the end of the game. I hope you've enjoyed this Let's Play. I really enjoyed the shit out of it. Uh, I enjoyed the hell out of it. This is one of those games that's got a lot of nostalgia. Plus, it's it's just a fun game. The art, uh, I think it's a real big step up from, uh, from uh, the other King's Quest games, obviously. But uh, yeah, they're just it's just really good. The music's good. The art style is very nice. The voice acting, I, in my opinion, is pretty good, even though uh, even though it's the first time. But the voice acting in the next game will get a lot better. But uh, but yeah, uh, this game is uh, really really good. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this LP. One thing I want to talk about is I think Rosella might be adopted. Here's the reason why I think so. She's got blonde hair. Graham's got brown hair or black hair. 
uh, uh, Valenice has got red hair, and uh, Alexander has black hair, so he might, she might be, she might be, uh, yeah, adopted. Anywho's another thing I want to, I just want to talk about Cedric and all the great lines that he had, even though he was, uh, he pretty much was, uh, was, he wasn't useless, but he was close to it. But he was still fun. Fun to have around. And he ended up taking a bullet, so that was all good. Um, yeah. So, I think that this game really was, once again, like a, like a bridge. Like a, like a bridge from the old games to, like, the new game, to the new version of the King's Quest games. Now, you're probably wondering, when am I going to be playing King's Quest VI? Well, pretty soon, actually. Pretty soon. Um, but yeah, this game, I'm really, really good. And I, I just like, uh, I just liked all of it. And, uh, yeah, it brings a lot, a lot of nostalgia because this is one of the, might be the first, I think it's the second King's Quest game because I think I played I think I played six before this one. But anyways, this game's really, really great. And yeah, I got 260 out of 260, so that's pretty much it. I think that's it. I think this shit just keeps going uh, on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, and this music makes you think that there's something bad going to happen, but I don't think anything bad is going to happen. I, and I want to say that we've seen this already. So yeah, like I said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this LP, uh, King's Quest VI, uh, will be coming, uh, fairly soon. Give myself a couple days, and then I'll work on it. Uh, so yeah. Or no, yeah, it depends. There's a couple games I might, I might, there might be one game I do in between before we start King's Quest VI. But anyways, uh, yeah, so this has been Kenshin 1913. I hope you enjoyed, uh, once again, this LP. Again, I apologize for, um, it taking so damn long for Mordak to go to sleep. Alright, I will see, I've been Kenshin1913, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play. Bye-bye.